now we want to talk about an education um, show that's going on at Exeter University. Yeah, it's called EduX, the Ed- EduX Festival. But I wanted to go back a bit, John, right. um, because we d- we've spoken about MOOCs and online learning mm. quite a lot, different times over the, over the show, and I've been keener on it than you have, I think, because during the during the lockdowns, uh, you were doing a course. Yeah. And you then had to do it online. Mm. And you didn't really, you didn't, I mean, see, I, th- I thought it was quite, quite interesting the way Zoom took off, the way l- people really had to try out all the online things. Yeah, I think people had to try out all the online things, but for me, it, it doesn't work, it didn't work for various um, solid reasons, if you like. Uh, for those of you who d- who have just tuned in or or don't know? I'm I um I I am actually severely visually impaired blind. So um, even though I did have um, support worker at the time helping me uh, with certain aspects of the of of the um, technical logical bits, I didn't actually um, like the uh, lockdown at the time and uh, having to use Zoom because uh, uh, it wasn't originally designed to, 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 to accommodate education anyway. Like, like, I, like I say, the government, the government at the time were just you know, encouraging people to use Zoom because it was, it was a way to communicate. Um, but it, it was terrible from a, a, a visually impaired person's point of view, yes, because um, Unless you were visually active or you know and able to read, it wasn't it wasn't any it wasn't really any good it wasn't really any good for it wouldn't have been if I was totally blind it wouldn't be any good at all because it wouldn't it, it, it used to make um it used to make uh, using a screen reader very very difficult because a I couldn't use a screen reader to 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 um. To, to to follow uh, the the uh, on on screen the on screen information so I, obviously that's why the support worker had to had to help me you know um, he had to tell me the online information so no I didn't think to cut a long story um, I didn't think Zoom was uh, any good for, a vi- for, for so for, did it did it did it did event. it get any better uh, John no no it was it was terrible but. In fact, I did manage. I did manage to get the qualification, so. Um, but it didn't really get any better, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't um, recommend. Zoom is not an educational tool. Well, it can be, but it's not. It's not for everybody, or it hasn't got the features that you need. Well, it was. Ne- it was never designed as an educational tool. Uh, well, maybe not. No, but th- but. Um, it was never designed for teaching, Will. No. I know that much. No. Well, the the um, the edu the edux is using Microsoft. It, so c- can I just ma- mention this, John? It, yeah. M- Microsoft Teams is what they're using. Right. Which is f- f- fairly similar in that. Right. In well, that s- well, in the sense that they but they both became popular during lockdown. Well, I would also like to say if you if you. Um, if you if, if you are if you are completely visually able and you don't have a visual disability then zoom you you may be able to follow one might be able to follow a, a course online on zoom very you know very easily but for me um, there's many people in my position uh, that wouldn't be able to follow a zoom uh, educational course on Zoom very easily without help. Um, so yeah, I hated I I hated the lockdown. It was completely useless, and uh, I hope that we never have to have a experience like it ever again. Okay, well, I I just want want to say now I think um, most universities seem to have gone back to normal. So they've gone back to methods of teaching that existed before the lockdown. So they should, because, you know, even though online learning is getting more popular, it's not 
perfect for everyone and I don't think it would ever it would ever um it would ever completely re replace face to face teaching. I think face to face teaching is more accurate. I think it's more hard meaning hard as in, in, in it would um it's better for it's better for teachers or lecturers to be able to teach face to face or lecture face to face. You have a you have a deeper um teaching student relationship with 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 the lecturers than more of a personal relationship, you know. If you if, if you if you're seeing them online it's not it's not for everyone. Well, what, what, I can, what I can say, what, what's happened so far, the, the meeting I went to, which was at the business school, there is going to be a centre for online learning, so they're going to look at it. I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to be a large proportion of what goes on, so the face-to-face -face teaching is still the basic model for the university, as far as I can tell, but they're prepared to look at online learning. Yeah, I'm not saying don't look at it, there's actually quite a lot of good platforms teaching platforms for online learning already available isn't there but um, for teaching for teaching um, severely visually impaired people blind people I, I don't know there is um, um, so so yeah the, the, the other thing is that one of the one of the posters there's some um, thesis posters in the in the forum at, at, on the campus at the, I think all this week so they're just doing a summary of the kind of research PhD students are doing. Right. And uh, one of them is on, is on blended learning. Okay. And I think, I think that's interesting. So other people call it hybrid, or the, the two things are, uh, you know, to, for people like us, we might not be able to tell the difference, but the, the academics, some of them are using the word hybrid, some are using the word blended. But they're, they're looking at ways of mixing online with what you're talking about right and I think that that is interesting because I, I don't think anybody actually does a purely online course because the people organizing the online course may not see what people are doing with it but they're probably mixing it with other sources and other sorts of practice mm. and um, what the sense that they make of it may be completely unknown to the person who designed the online course well to an extent yeah, I think yeah. all of those things get quite, quite vague. Um, the o the other thing I'd say is that if you if you look for EduX on on Twitter, uh, there's a podcast starting up, and that's going to be looking at artificial intelligence. I think this one comes out next week, so I I think we'll come we'll come back to this, and. Um, John, I think I think this is good because you, you you're pointing out all the practical difficulties, and I'll I'll try and uh, raise other possibilities. Okay. And we'll see how much sense it makes as time goes on. We'll come we'll come back to it. Right. And uh, I'll also say a bit more about this on the on the drama show tomorrow, between eight and ten.